Today in this video, I'll show you how you can build a SaaS product entirely using AI. And no, you don't need to write a single line of code or heck, you don't even need to know the basics of HTML or CSS. All you need to do is to prompt. I mean, just type out exactly what you want to build, hit enter and let the AI do the work for you. And in this video, I'll show you how we can build a SaaS product from scratch, which includes all the complex stuff like authentication, databases, payments, bucket storage, front-end, uh, API integrations, back-end and all that. So if that sounds interesting, let's quickly get started. In order to create a full-fledged SaaS product, the first thing that you'll have to do is to find the coding platform, that is the AI coding platform that you would like to use. So here I have opened up a couple of them. So here we have lovable.dev, bold.new, data button, cursor, Tempo, V0 by Versal and Winsurf. So these five AI tools, that is Lovable, Bolt, Data Button, Tempo and V0 by Versal, all of this can be accessed using a web browser and you can build and deploy this as from the beginning all the way to the end entirely within a web browser. And Cursor and Winsurf are two IDEs or AI powered code editors that you need to download and install into your computer. So the flow of creating a SaaS product will be pretty much the same irrespective of the tool that you use. But in this video, we'll be using Lovable. But if you want to, let's say, use Ball to Data Button, Tempo or V0, you're free to use whichever one that works best for you. So in this case, I'll be using Lovable. And now here comes the question. What exactly is that I'm trying to build? So in this video, I'm planning to build a website or a SaaS product similar to vTransfer. So I hope a good number of you might be already aware of this website, vTransfer.com which allows people to share files over the internet. So someone could go ahead and upload a piece of file and then after uploading, grab the unique link and share it with anyone and they can now go ahead and download that file from anywhere in the world. So that is basically the app that we are trying to build. And now this website right here, vtransfer.com is getting almost close to, let me see, 100 million visits every month. So it is quite a popular one and these guys are making millions every year, that's for sure. And they have a couple of these plans like free ultimate teams, enterprise and all that. And the ultimate plan starts at around $23 a month. Okay, cool. So basically this is the kind of SaaS that we are trying to build. So let's see. First and foremost, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to lovable.dev and sign up for a new account. And once you're logged in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. So towards the center of the screen, you can find a input box and all you gotta do is to explain exactly what you want to build. So I'll go ahead and let's say, So this right here is the initial prompt that I'll give to the AI. Create a SaaS where users can upload and share files with anyone. Once a user signs up on our platform, they should be taken to the dashboard and from there they can upload any file. And once uploaded, a unique link should be shown, which can then be shared with anyone. Once a different person clicks the link, an option to download the file should be shown. And upon clicking the download button, the download should start. Anyone can download the file without signing up but to upload a file the user needs to sign in so this is the prompt or the initial prompt that i'll give and i can hit enter and along the way i'll show you how we can set up database authentication storage buckets and all that complex stuff so let's wait for the initial version to load and this writer is the interface of lovable.dev and towards the left side this is where everything happens <laughs> okay See that? So it says, I'm inspired by your idea for a file sharing platform. And it reminds me of services like vTransfer, Dropbox. What? I mean, I did not even mention anything about vTransfer. And yet the AI was able to figure out the service is similar to vTransfer. And it is now building something similar to that one. So that's a cool one. In which ways, this is where you will interact with the AI towards the left side. And towards the right side, this is where you will find all the preview, live preview of the app it is generating. So as you can see, Lovable is still writing the code for our SaaS product. And before we continue further, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Bitrix24. Are you planning to start a SaaS business entirely using AI? If yes, then Bitrix24 could be your comprehensive solution when it comes to project management side of things. Bitrix24 combines AI-driven tools with robust project management and collaboration features, making it ideal for IT professionals and SaaS owners. You can manage tasks, automate processes, and enhance communication all in a secure work environment. With Bitrix24, you pay once for your team and access all the features, avoiding the per user fees. Its flexible structure and fixed pricing make it the perfect partner for your SaaS venture. And Bitrix24 now offers a flat 30% discount on selected plans. So if you want to use Bitrix24, click the first link in the description below and experience seamless business management. Now back to the video. 
any which ways we'll wait for the ai to complete the initial version and then we can take it up from there so let's wait so as you can see the ai is writing all this code and in this video we'll be using superbase for authentication database and storage so we need to create a new superbase project so if this is your first time just head over to superbase.com and sign up for a new account and once you're logged in you will find an option that says new project just click on that one and select let's say a project and you can then go ahead and give it a name so in this case let's just go ahead and give it v transfer okay no issues v transfer and then give it a database password and you need to select a region that is closest to your target location in this case i'll keep it as singapore and now you can click on this create new project option so basically we are creating a superbase project and then we'll go ahead and connect the superbase project to a lovable project so that we can implement authentication file uploads and also a real database functionality so as you can see the project is now fully set up and now we'll wait for lovable to create the initial version and then we can take it up from there so here we have the initial version of our SaaS ready and this writer is a nice landing page looks good and here I have opened up it in a new screen and it looks good and if I click on the sign up button it should take me to a form where I can log in and sign up but this won't work now because we haven't really connected Superbase yet so I head back to Lovable and next up we'll go ahead and connect the Superbase project that we created to this particular project in Lovable doing so is pretty simple towards the top right you will find a button that says Superbase that is manage Superbase you can click on that one and it should now show you all the projects that you have within your Superbase account so if this is your first time you will find an option to add the organization and authorize Superbase and once that's done it will now list all the projects that you have in your Superbase account so in this case we created a new project called as vtransfer and we'll go ahead and select vtransfer and click on this connect button and now I'll click on connect and now Lovable will go ahead and connect to vtransfer and as you can see the status is connected now we have added a real backend to our project and Superbase implementation is now successful and next up I'll go ahead and ask the AI to implement authentication using Superbase so I can go ahead and say I have I have connected Superbase implement Superbase authentication in our app okay and I can hit enter now as of now we only have a dummy login and sign up form now the AI will go ahead and connect it to our let's say Superbase account and include authentication so let's wait for it to load the same so it says I'll implement Superbase authentication in the app first let's set up the database structure to support user authentication and profiles so all I gotta do is to click on this apply changes option and the AI itself will go ahead and create all these tables RLS policies function triggers and everything in our Superbase project so we don't have to do anything so let's wait all right so user authentication is now implemented but it seems like we have an error in here so I can click on try to fix it option and the AI itself should go ahead and fix the problem or the error for us so let's wait all right so it seems like the error is gone and I'll go ahead and try to create a new account so I can click on the sign up option and then before that I'll head back to Superbase and select authentication sign in slash sign up and select email and disable this option that says confirm email otherwise you will have to set up a custom SMTP server so I'll head back and try to sign up for a new account so I can put my name the password email and let's click on create account option and hopefully it works close okay so it says account created please verify your email and if I head to let's say authentication and click on users I should find my account in here so refresh so there you go Superbase authentication is now successful and I can now log into the app so here we are in the dashboard and the next important thing that we'll have to do is to implement the real file upload feature so whenever a person uploads a file the same need to be stored in a storage bucket within our Superbase project and then it should give us a link to you know sort of download the file or let's say share it with anyone so I can go ahead and say can you please implement real file upload and sharing option with Superbase when a person uploads a file the same should be saved in a Superbase project and the user should get a shareable link that anyone can access to download the file and I'll go ahead and hit enter and let's see so it says I'll implement real file uploads using Superbase storage first we need to set up storage bucket and its permissions in Superbase alright so I'll click on apply changes 
it is creating a storage bucket and then a couple of these rls policies cool in which case let's wait so the ai is now creating a database table to store all the file metadata so i'll go ahead and click on apply changes as well and let's see all right so the changes are now made and i'll open it up in a new tab and now hopefully i should be able to upload a file so here i'll drag and drop a simple image file so this is the thumbnail of one of my videos and i'll try to upload and click on this generate link button and let's see what happens so it says okay could not find the download count columns of files in the schema cache okay so it is failing for some reason i'll copy the error and i'll say after i upload the file i get the following error and i'll paste the same in here right so anything else in here so it also says failed to load files i'll add that as well i also see failed to load files when i open the app for the first time and i can hit enter and let's see so hopefully the ai should be able to fix it all right so the error is fixed now so i'll go ahead and open the project and try to drag and drop a image file just like that and if i click on this upload and generate link button hopefully the upload should be successful and it says upload complete your file has been uploaded successfully and it is also giving us this shareable link and if i copy this link and paste it in a web browser and hit enter i should see the option to download the file oh yes there you go and if i click on download file okay look at that so here we have the thumbnail file that i uploaded so if i head back to superbase and if i open the file uploads storage bucket here we have the image that we uploaded right now cool and if I move over to this my file section right here, I'm able to find all these images. And here you also have an option to copy the link. And hopefully if I open it up in a incognito mode, it should work. Oh well, yes, there you have it. Download file and everything is working. So basically we have created a website similar to WeTransfer, all of that in less than 20 minutes. And almost all features that is authentication, database and storage buckets are now working exactly like the way we wanted to. Next up, let's just go ahead and try to implement payments using Stripe. So I can go ahead and say. So here I went ahead and asked the AI, can you please implement Stripe payments to our app? Our app should have two plans. They are Lite and Pro. Lite plan should allow users to upload up to 10 files and the Pro plan allows users to upload 100 files. The plan pricing are as follows. Lite is $5.99 and the Pro is $9.99. And now I'll go ahead and send the message. And, but first you'll have to make sure you have a Stripe account. So if this is your first time, just head over to stripe.com and sign up for a new account and log into the same. And you'll have to create two new plans, right? For that, you can click on this option that says product catalog and then click on this option that says create product. And now you can give a name, something like light and then set the amount for in this case, let's say $10, select the billing period as monthly. And if you want to, you can include a description and image and click on this add product option. Now I'll cancel the same. So here I have already added two products. So if you want to add multiple plans, you can simply click on this create product option and add the required plans. And once that's done, you can head back to Lovable. And now it is asking me to provide the Stripe API key. And if I click on this add API key option, it is asking me to enter the Stripe secret key. And for that, I can head back to Stripe, click on home. And towards this section right here, I can find the secret key right here. And I can click on it to copy the same and I'll head back and paste the same in here and click on submit okay it says api keys added successfully and let's see the ai is now creating a new table to keep all the information related to user subscriptions and a couple of these rls policies and triggers as well so i'll click on apply changes and now let's wait all right so subscription payment using stripe is now implemented and if i open the dashboard here i can find a new tab that says subscription and if i click on that one i can find the light plan and the pro plan and currently we are in the free plan next step let's just try to let's say subscribe to the light plan so i can click on subscribe now and let's see so it says failed to create a checkout session so i can go ahead and put the same error in lovable and try to fix it and by the way we will also have to let's say ask the ai to implement the webhook so that stripe can let our app know that the subscription payment went through so i'll do that real quick and i'll get back to you after a bit of back and forth with the AI, here we have the subscription feature now working. 
So if I go to the subscription tab and let's say click on this light plan and hit the subscribe now button, it should now take us to the Stripe checkout page. And as you can see, Stripe checkout is now working and it says subscribe to light $5.99. And now I'll select the card option and put the dummy card data in here, which is 4242424242. I'll put this as let's say 0242 and CVC as 242. Enter a card holder name and I can click on subscribe and hopefully everything should work. And in between, I set up the webhook and did all that kind of stuff. So let's see. So the subscription payment is now complete. All right, so there you are. And as you can see, the light plan is now active and the subscription payment using Stripe is now working. And now I can head back to the upload file section and upload even more files. So let me go ahead and add a different file this time. So this is yet another image and I can click on upload and generate link. And let's wait. So there you have it. And I can now copy the link to this file and also view the files. So here we have like two of them. So once I open the link, it takes me to this page right here where I can download the file and I'll click on download file option. And there you go. As easy as that. So this WeTransfer clone app that we created using Lovable or AI is now working exactly like the way we want to. And now you can go ahead and make changes to the landing page in here, add additional features and take it up from there. So that's how simple it is to create a SaaS using AI. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to create a MVP version of a real SaaS entirely using AI. And no, you don't need to know anything about coding and you can create an application like the one that I shown you in this video. But knowing a bit about coding helps when it comes to, let's say, implementing really complex features and all that kind of stuff. And at times when you develop applications using AI, AI will keep throwing errors after errors and also the implementation might not be 100% correct. In such cases, if you are a person who knows nothing about coding, it can be a bit overwhelming and also you'll struggle a lot to find and fix all these errors. So having the foundation knowledge or basics of coding will help you in the long run. In which case, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. Also make sure to check out Bittrex24 using the link in the description below. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.